Hi, my name is Shaxon Zabel, Matchable Supervisor in Outpost VFX. I have over 10 years of experience in this industry and uh, have started my career as a photo artist. Then gradually I shifted my career from 2D to 3D. Apart from Outpost, I have worked in uh, Basilic Flight and Bixto and DNEC. Uh, at Dina, I was working as uh, the Matchco Mentor and an AOTD as well. Yes, that is pretty much who I am. I used to draw digital paintings and uh, pencil drawings and watercolors and all. And I really wanted to get into a field that are completely related to art. And one day my uh, computer teacher told me that you should uh, try uh, some VFX uh, kind of thing. Because uh, you know, like you are doing the drawings at all well, so VFX is completely for those who are interested in this kind of art. Then, uh, so he told me that there is one institute uh, started in our town. You should go and uh, visit over there and check if it is suitable for you. You can uh, go with that. Uh, I simply said okay, fine, and I told my father that uh, teachers told me that uh, this kind of uh, like uh, VFX industry is there. I was not aware of uh, this industry at that day. And uh, my father said, okay, fine. And after a few days, uh, suddenly I got a call from my dad and he was saying, uh, there is a seminar that's happening in our town hall. And uh, unfortunately, that seminar is conducting by that same institute. And I suddenly went there. I wanted to really see what does VFX. The positive side of this industry, I would say, it is the growth, the day-by-day -day growth of and uh, which is happening in this industry. Because, uh, you know, Everywhere in VFX is there nowadays. Uh, compared to the olden days, only movies, some shorts they used to, you know, uh, apply the VFX and all. So nowadays, in all the movies and web series, Netflix, or Amazon, and other OTT platforms and commercials, uh, small small ads everywhere uh, they have started using the VFX. So the growth is tremendous uh, of uh, in VFX industry. And that is the main positive thing which I feel. The negative sense are there, of course. Uh, negative side, what I found is an, uh, the lack of uh, balancing of uh, work life and that personal life. Uh, because uh, so many artists too, uh, they are struggling, you know, meeting their deadlines and finishing up their works. And they are not uh, targeting time, do not spend their time with their families. And uh, this is which is not good. Okay, so for an artist or for an employee, they should uh, get enough time to spend uh, with their family and uh, to complete their work. And uh, this kind of pressure uh, situation, uh, we should not uh, maintain. And uh, nowadays, some companies are uh, you know, improving their work culture and slowly, slowly it is uh, you know, changing the things is a good sign. All the movies are favorite for me. For the specific, I would say that the Fast and Furious movie uh, sequences are the most favorite for me because uh, from the aspect of a uh, match role, uh, the movie is so much of a challenging for us. And we have like a crazy uh, camera movements and uh, vehicle animations and all. And which is a really, you know, most challenging shots we can find and those kind of movies so i would say fast and furious is one of my favorite uh, movies and i would say a tobo a tobo is a kind of uh no challenging uh movie for us because uh so much of the heavy camera movements and uh, animal animations uh, are there mm, yep so these movies i would say is my you know, most favorite uh talking about my personal work yes uh, during my uh, VFX course, uh, we have uh, done a project called One Love. It is nothing, uh, you might know that uh, there is an album called One Love. It's a famous album. Uh, we have uh, converted that entire album to uh, 3D animation. And uh, that was uh, so, so much of a uh, challenging work for us because we were now just uh, just learning stage. 
and we are doing a complete album yeah. with lots of animations, texturing, writing and all. Yes, that is one of my all-time favorite would love. When I was working as a matchroom artist, my company suddenly, you know, are called for a meeting and for everyone. And they have uh, declared that the uh, company has started uh, to give uh, some rewards and awards for uh, best employees. And for what it was, for that month, I received that uh, the status award. That was not very shocking for me. And uh, still, I remember those days. And uh, one of my supervisors uh, told me that day that uh, you are putting no hundred percentage on your dedication and that. So that is the main reason you know, why we give that award to you. And uh, he always uh, used to tell that if you are putting your hundred percentage effort uh, in your work, uh, the everything will come to you automatically. No need to know. Chase for that. You have to put your hundred percentage on that. So I still uh, know I keep when uh, I, that works with me. And the second memorable incident, I would say, uh, there is a, a project came uh, called uh, Key, and uh, it is a historical movie, and uh, we got a sh uh, shot uh, around uh, three thousand five hundred frames, and um, me and one of my other friend have shared that shot like we uh, that shot has uh, has a sign for both of us, and we sweated that shot into two. And we started working on it. Our most about 23 days we have worked on that shot. And uh, the, the good part is that shot going up road in the first pass. And that was so shocking for us. And the entire company was like appreciating us. And, uh, that is a good experience for me. For Maspo, mostly we are using the 3D equalizer and Maya. And uh, there are so many other tracking softwares that are available called uh, PF Track, Bojo, and Synthesis, and all. Uh, but Egrazer has a separate, you know, strong base, and it is a good software for tracking. I personally prefer uh, Egrazer for tracking. And um, yes, uh, when there are multiple talks uh, going over in our industry, a few years that. Uh, Live render 3D camera is going to replace uh, the match mode, the tracking work, and the motion capture is going to replace the body track work and all. And if you ask me, uh, in near future, there is nothing going to happen. Uh, but yes, in the far future, we can expect some changes in our industry because you know this industry is, you know, uh, getting advanced in a day by day basis and it is uh, growing in a fast mode. And on, uh, if you see in olden days, four to five days shorts, uh, one artist is working in a short for four to five days. Now the same short we can achieve in one or two days with advanced software and techniques, which means uh, advanced tools can reduce manpower. So, yes, changes are going to come. But uh, not suddenly, slowly it will get changed. But uh, yeah, so we have to be, uh, we have to update ourselves in a daily basis because we don't know what is going to happen next. So we should, you know, we, we should be there in that cycle. Commitment. Whatever you are doing, you have to put your 100% commitment on it. Then only you can see the proper result. And share your knowledge. Always share your knowledge, then only you learn new things. And uh, don't take too much of stress. It won't help you to get a proper output. And uh, always follow positive people and media. And always follow a healthy lifestyle. That's it. Thank you.